Hello and welcome to my Little Nightmares 2 playthrough where I show you where all the collectibles are in this game and this is chapter one. My name is Michelle and I hope you enjoy the playthrough. Uh, this is a real playthrough so I will be making some mistakes but you know that's the beauty of it. I'm gonna try doing a narration style to the playthrough, kind of playing around since I'm just starting YouTube again. I figured making it a playthrough, but also trying to show you guys where are most of the items in the game, I figured would be fun to do. But yeah, so here we are, proceeding as me always tripping over things. Yes, Little Nightmares 2. If you haven't already seen Little Nightmares 1, I do have videos available as well. There's the link right there for the first one if you're interested in watching. The narration for that one is a little different. The audio is in the moment, so that one's not a narration. That one's me commentating and saying stuff while I played. But I figured, you know, it's YouTube. Let's try something different. So I figured, just let me just record my gameplay and then I'll just narrate it and let you know the key moments here and there when they do arise. All right, this part always gets me, but you really just have to sprint. You really do. You don't have to do any jumps or anything, but the panic rises within me, so I just feel obligated to jump. <laughs> you don't have to do that, of course. You just need to sprint. It's basically just to teach you what buttons do what. But yeah, I mean, would you also not freak out if a log was coming at you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I will say Little Nightmares 2 does look really, really good compared to the first one, but being a Little Nightmares vet, I kind of already know that you have to work with your environment to make things work. All right, so before we go up the bridge, I'm going to show you that if you keep going on the right patch over here, you will see glitch number one. There are a total of four glitches in this chapter, so this is the first one. There are four glitches, and there are two hats in the chapter in the base game, but if you have DLC, like myself, there is one bonus hat, and I will show you all three as we get to them. So, Little Nightmares, you have to be really careful with your surroundings. There are traps everywhere. Can... I mean, you, you saw with the thumbnail book. Can you already start piecing together what the boss is in this chapter? There's traps everywhere. I'm sure we can already start to narrow down what the boss is. Look, we have bear traps all over the place. This is not DVD, people but I still don't think you should fall or step into it. Yup, 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 gotta be careful. I'm telling you, this game is nothing but traps. All right, so before we proceed, you're gonna go ahead and crouch under the log and you are going to follow the little path that leads you to glitch number two. Very nice, very nice. All right, now you can go and continue on with the game. Remember, traps are everywhere. Conveniently placed stick. I'm here for it. Boom. Trigger one, you trigger them all. All right, conveniently placed pine cones. Just yeet them and hope you trigger all of the other bear traps that are hidden in the leaves here. Clearly uh, the game is not cooperating with me, <laughs> but that's okay. I, I will find them. Boom. There we go. I am pleased. I feel like I'll be able to be okay. I'm just gonna keep going. 
yeah jump in and part boring this little guy literally is a, a pro for sure <laughs> can we just stop and admire how beautiful this game is honestly literally one of the most prettiest games i've ever seen very beautiful i really like the the dark steampunk grungy earthy look to the game it's absolutely gorgeous i can't get over it all right so we have approached the hunter's house this is what it's called in the game any uh, og little nightmares fan recognize the lullaby all right so before we go follow the the lullaby we're gonna go and find the coonskin hat this is the first hat in this chapter i'm gonna go ahead and equip it because why not i want to look cool all right and then we're gonna continue on with the game we're gonna go and follow the melody or lullaby whatever you want to call it all right so we've reached the destination we have to go to the right first so we can go ahead and grab this axe you will see why in a minute So as we get closer to the lullaby, we have to break in and save our little friend over here. Yes, we're putting the full on shining here, but it's okay. We're gonna be okay, and they are gonna be okay. She's not a fan of me. It's okay. We will uh, continue. We will earn her trust. Don't be alarmed by the sounds you are hearing. You're gonna be okay, trust me. You're gonna be all right. And this, this, they're not gonna suddenly get up. You're gonna be okay, trust me. Just keep going. All right, this is where our little friend realizes she can't get through this by herself. So you're just gonna have to trust us. Just like we have to trust you. everywhere. Don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed. You are gonna be okay. Just spooky noises to really make you get that anxiety going, you know, like, oh my gosh, something's coming. All right, now that we have our little friend here, a lot of higher to reach uh, items are gonna be a lot easier now because we have this friend right here who's gonna help us parkour, jump, leap, all of the good stuff. Alright, so we need a key. That's me whispering. You can literally uh, call her out in case she's just not cooperating. So we need to get that key, but we need a lever so we can uh, jump up a little higher. Don't be frightened, people. She's not going to attack you. It may look like it, but no, you're fine. Go ahead and grab the liver. There we go, and then go back to her so we can get that key. Teamwork makes the dream work. Boom. Go ahead, have her pull that up for us, and then we're gonna just leap and grab the key. This is my favorite thing with Little Nightmares 2, the key. We don't actually have to hold it anymore. In Little Nightmares 1, you had to hold the key. So you weren't able to do anything like jumping around and stuff. All right, so this gnome, it's not gonna pop out for many unless you have the DLC. 
if you're not interested in seeing the DLC, go ahead and skip to 14 minutes in for the rest of the base game stuff. This is now strictly DLC content. This is, uh, oh my gosh. This is to get the gnome hat. If you're a completionist like myself, you're gonna wanna get this. So you can go ahead and get the gnome hat. It's kind of a little tiny little puzzle mini game. Pretty simple. Just trying to play hide and seek with the gnome. <laughs> yeah, it's it's affordable. It was it cost me 499 USD in the Microsoft store. For about mm, 15 minutes of games of gaming of new content, I guess you could say. It's fine. You don't need it for the achievement of collecting all the hats, so that's nice because there's nothing more annoying if being unable to get an achievement by being locked by a paywall. No. You'll still get the achievement if you collect all the base game hats. This is just the bonus. So you gotta go at wherever you walk, the little gnome will follow. So you kind of have to guide him around because he's your only source of light. I am just, to save time earlier, I'm just going to move this. Alright, so after we motivate our little friend, he's going to go ahead and open the door for us. Alright, and boom, a gnome hat. Now, how do we get up there? Simple. You turn on the power and you basically go through everything that the little gnome just did. Now I'm just gonna move it just a smidge more so I can go ahead and jump on it easier. And in true little nightmares, gotta open all the drawers. I'm gonna traverse all this and fall. I'm telling you people. I can never have a flawless run. At this point, I'm just gonna accept all the mistakes and just keep going. We're gonna we're just gonna move on. It's fine. Just don't go and run ahead <laughs> like I did. You'll be fine. Right here, as you can see, I'm already ugh, kind of over it. <laughs> And boom, there it is, gnome hat right there. You go ahead and grab it. And you've got hat number two. All right, convenient little gnome helping us out, find our way back to the regular base game stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and equip my hat. If you are popping back in after skipping, welcome, welcome back. Uh, that hat I'm wearing is the hat that I got in the DLC content. If you want to see how I got it, you know, go, go ahead and watch the DLC stuff. Alright, so we are out of the Hunter's house. And before we go on, we're going to go ahead and open the little outhouse. Teamwork is required. Thus showing us glitch number three. He's kind of just chilling there. Go ahead and become one. And move on. Teamwork. Alright. So, once I get up there. jump over things and boom we are about to meet the chapter's boss and if you guys guess hunter you are correct that is the hunter we're just gonna sneak on by literally the your survival is nothing but sneak time being cautious and of course gets alerted. But it's okay. He's gonna try and avoid his shotgun blast. The crates are your friends for you to keep moving. 
I'm not gonna lie, this is not my first playthrough of recorded content. I have recorded like two or three other times and I just, I, I struggled. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've actually played the game. So this is my most recent playthrough where it's, it's as good as it's gonna get. I'm not gonna produce anything better than this with the fewer deaths. This, um, yeah. All right, so a lot of hiding and a lot of lurking in the shadows to get by the hunter. All right, once you feel like he's at a good distance, you can start moving already. You'll be okay. So you can crouch speed walk so it moves you a little faster. This part right here, you can keep on running. You'll be fine. I know your instinct is to freeze frame. No, you're fine. The, the light won't get you. Just keep going. You're going to stop about right here, almost outside of the grass, and you're going to give it a minute. This is a timing thing. You really have to just fight the urge to speed run over there because you will be shot. Trust me, I've done the legwork. So once the beam moves away, you can just start going. And I know the music builds up to really make you afraid. <laughs> You're gonna be good. You're fine. Just keep on moving. Keep on checking along. You're fine. You're fine. He can't get you. Definitely one of the prettiest uh, side-scroller platform game for sure. Definitely my favorite. More teamwork based stuff. You have to pull levers, platforms, so she can able to cross over. And remember I told you earlier, you can call out to her. You're going to have to because she just suddenly forgets you're there. <laughs> You gotta get a running start. Don't just jump. You have to get a running start. Um, I've fallen many, many times. All right. So before you proceed side over here, you will get the rain hat. You just have to do a little climbing, parkouring to get the hat. It's inside the cage. It is the rain hat. Just gotta give a couple little jumps to motivate it to fall. Boom. And there's our rain hat. And that's all the hats that are in this chapter. Moving along. Uh, not without equipping it, of course. Gotta sport my new hat. Alright, the hunter is back in play more sneaking uh okay she can just go apparently while we have to <laughs> wait patiently for our moment to strike and as always crates are our best friend and running i panic slide right there <laughs> and i keep on climbing and a conveniently placed tv is gonna protect us nice all right we keep on going Coming out for us. I see you. Boom. She saves us. Very, very nice. Alright. I always panic here because there have been plenty of times where I've been shot through the floor. So I'm just hopping around in hopes that I won't get shot. Really scary people. hiding. This time I just did a little quick duck there so you can see that you are going to have to duck in the water from time to time. <laughs> Alright, you can slowly start moving now because he's not going to turn his uh, lantern anymore. Here you have to be careful. Don't stand directly in front of her 
or else the AI will literally move you to the front. So I have to be really careful. I've died like two or three times during uh, my the first two playthroughs I was recording where she just pushed me out in the front. He saw me and I got shot. And it's not cool. Just let her take the lead and you can follow behind. You'll be okay. Our cover and then we're gonna go ahead and duck and cross over. Can't see us, we're fine. Sneaking and running. Once again, boxes are our best friends. Gotta run and crouch and hide and all the things. Oh, uh, right there, I literally uh, skipped a beat. I literally thought I was gonna get shot because I've done that before. I slid a little too far and he just goes boom. Alright. This is the end of the road for the hunter. For sure. Alright. Boom. That's right. And that's the end of the hunter. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Now we can keep going. And we're gonna take a little boat ride. So while you enjoy this lovely boat ride, I'm just gonna go ahead and say uh, and ask, what do you think? You liking the narration stuff? Is it something that I should keep doing or maybe not? Go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already if you are enjoying the video thus far. No, but seriously, what do you guys think? I would love to hear about it in the comments. Is this something you guys would like me to keep doing? Or would you prefer more real, in the moment, kind of commentary uh, just just for a warning fair warning whatever uh, this is how I'm going to finish this playthrough of this game in particular I will be continuing the narration but any other games that come out in the future I'm more than happy to do different ways if you guys prefer different if you guys like more live uh, commentary or maybe you guys like the narration do you guys like me to throw in more like facts fun facts I guess you could say about the game inspiration I don't know let me know honestly I'm down to talk about it but yeah this game is just so freaking beautiful I really like it so now that we're leaving the forest we're actually gonna make our way into the pale city you will see why it's called the pale city it's just literally monotone, monochromatic color scheme. It just looks dreadful. But it's it's so interesting to see this game. Like, look, why are the buildings leaning? It's like they're looking at us, like, yo, who's approaching? I don't know. It's I don't know, I'm, I'm just telling you, I just really love this game. It's it's gorgeous. A big GG to the developers for this game. Absolutely one of my favorites. And have any theories on the game? Because I know Little Nightmares, there isn't like official lore. It's more fan-made lore on people's theories and interpretations of the game and story. I would love to hear about it too. If you guys want to share that in the comments, we can go back and forth on what we think about the game. Alright, so we're pretty much coming to the close, to chapter one. There's just one final thing, and that is glitch number four. This guy's just chilling by the TV over here. 
So after your little voyage, you're going to go and say hello. And boom. And yeah, that is the it for chapter one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and like and subscribe, turn on notifications if you're interested, and I'll see you guys in a few days for the next chapter.